Good morning, friends and fellow traders. Hey, this is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 21st, 2019. So it's Thursday, and we just continue to have the bulls run and run and run and run and run and run. And we are now in our eighth day, eighth day of gains here in the Dow and eight straight days of gains in the Dow. And also we are in our ninth straight week of straight up bullish run. So one of the things that happens when we, when we get uh, so bullish for such a long period of time, it's very easy for traders to kind of be lulled to sleep uh, with the idea that the bears will never return. Um, I want everyone to be very, very cautious about that. One of the things that I've been talking about um, for some time now is just to be careful not to over trade as we approach price resistance levels. And here we are um, on the Dow pushing some price resistance levels that we need to be paying attention to. So right here on the Dow, just pushing up there toward that price resistance level, we wanna pay attention to that. Now, is there anything wrong with this chart? There's not, but there is reason. Eight straight days up, nine straight weeks up, um, a rest or a pullback will eventually come. Trust me on this, the bears will return and they may be trying to show some teeth this morning. We started out with um, futures being very positive this morning. There was news la last night that the US and China may be trying to outline a potential trade deal and that fired up the futures there for a little bit. But now this morning we're starting to see a little bit of bearishness coming into that futures market so far uh, this morning. Now what's happening is we're reacting to a very big day of earnings and also a very big day on the economic calendar. So we'll want to pay attention to those things things. But as of this second, as I'm recording this, we're down about 55 points in the Dow futures, showing a little bit of pressure and maybe just a little bit of strain. Now, one of the things I want to mention, when we when we climb a mountain this big without really any um, any rest to, to speak of, it only takes a small stumble, a stumble and you roll a long ways back down that hill. So be really, really careful. If the sellers do come in, if the bears really start to pick up, we could see that get pretty harsh pretty quickly. So watch that closely and just make sure you're not over trading um, the market in that circumstance. So right now, looking really good. There's nothing bearish here in this chart. It's just all bullish trend, bullish trend, bullish trend, bullish trend. So I don't want to be trying to scare people either thinking that we're in danger of an imminent failure. We're, we're not. There's no clues here to that. Just the caution that we have to be careful. Don't get lulled to sleep and don't think for a minute it that the bears at some point uh, won't return because they will and we want to pay attention to that pretty closely okay so we're getting a little um, right now at the moment showing just a little bit of move lower this morning in the Dow and that could change still a bunch by the time the market opens because there's so many news reports and so many uh, 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 earnings reports uh, yet to come out this morning. Let's take a look at um, the SPY, SPY. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY also moving up here to a fairly significant resistance. We have a triple top up here. And this is one of those things where I talk about a lot with members of right way options is always respect that price resistance. We don't know as we approach that whether or not we could see um, another sell off as we approach that resistance. So watch that closely as we grind higher as we continue to push and push and push this trend. Um, anytime we move into those resistance levels, we want to respect that. And what I mean by respecting that is if you have good profits in a chart if you've been if you've made really good money and, and money's been pretty easy to make here lately um, with just this straight up moves that we've had um, as that is, is going on as you 
approach those resistance levels. Think about putting some money in the bank. Not necessarily saying take the entire trade off, but put some of that money in the bank so that um, in case we do get that shocking reversal, it doesn't um, cause you uh, significant damage um, or lose a bunch of those profits. We also want to make sure that we're um, paying attention to those resistance levels and being careful about not over trading. It's really easy to just uh, that fear of missing out creeps in and we chase and we chase and we chase trades that were are well or late into their rally and that can be a very damaging habit as well because that reversal can just really be harsh when that occurs. So reduce your trading activity, slow down a little bit, don't over trade as we approach um, uh, significant resistance levels. Just be a little bit more careful in your trading. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues, um, cues have been struggling right here along this resistance uh, area. You can see we've pushed up here a couple times, tried to break through there, have not been able to do that. And the cues yesterday were showing probably the uh, the biggest clue of weakness. If we look at a short term chart, a 15 minute chart here at the end of the day, we had this drive down or rally back up and right here was our first lower high failure on a 15 minute chart. Now we have climbed up, climbed back up overnight. Um, this is just a 15 minute chart. There's a lot of noise in a 15 minute chart. It's not uh, necessarily leading us to any conclusion here, but just those little those little um, chinks in the armor starting to show uh, possible weakness beginning to build in here at, at price resistance. And now this morning we're moving just slightly lower here in the market. So kind of keep an eye on that. Once again, trends still up bullish. We just respect those resistance levels in those charts. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM just has been remarkably strong. You can see we're um, nine, 10 days straight up here in um, IWM looking um, extremely strong. Um, obviously, the Russell 2000 components don't have the domestic um, uh, are mostly domestic companies and don't have the international exposure uh, to worry about um, in the trade negotiations. But as we hit this level right in here, a fairly significant resistance level in the chart, we want to watch that pretty closely and respect that area. That's where we could start seeing those uh, bears come back out. Just remember, uh, they may not happen. We can break through here, but just to respect that level, don't over trade uh, this late in the rally. Let's take a look at um, the VIX. The VIX moving on lower yesterday, just no fear in this market whatsoever. Um, it's it's as if uh, all of a sudden we've become complacent again, that no one no one believes that the market can pull back. Um, trust me, eventually it will. That doesn't mean it has to happen today. It doesn't even have to happen the rest of this week, um, but it will eventually happen. And while we're downtrending here uh, in the VIX, there still is no sign of fear in the market. It's very, very extended here. And we're pushing down into some um, some more um, support levels in here in this price action. This was a very, very significant level of support right here. And breaking down through that was very important. Um, we'll have to watch that as resistance if we do happen to bounce back up. But keep an eye on that VIX. We could see the VIX start to build in a little bit this morning if um, we continue to hold these negative numbers in the futures um, into the open. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high and new low ratio. And this has been calling for a pullback for some time here. In fact, it's it's beginning to get a little bit frustrating because uh, the market just is not um, respecting this indicator at all. We're just staying up. And what 
what's interesting to me is not only are we staying up in the market, the bonds continue to increase in prices. So we're seeing the market move up, we're seeing bonds go up, and we've had significant increases in gold and silver as well. And that's just really odd to me to see bullishness just racing into everything right now. And that gives me a little bit of pause and a little bit of concern that complacency is has really taken over here. And that creates a, a certain level of danger um, in the market. So looking at T2122, I, um, I, I mentioned this yesterday in, in all of my years of trading, I, I can't ever remember seeing a time where we have pegged T2122 up here for this length of time. But what it does tell us here, it doesn't tell us that we are in imminent danger of fail failure. It just tells us we have a lot of potential room to move down and very little potential room to move up. We're running out of that space, that energy, and a pullback could, could begin to occur at any time. So just be cautious and be thoughtful of that in how you, know, you take on new risk in the market. Let's go and take a look at um, the, our economic calendar today. We do have a big economic calendar today. It's been a light week so far, but now we're getting um, our comeuppance, I guess, here, and they piled everything on to Thursday. First off, durable goods orders at 8.30 this morning. Now, that is a late report. Um, that was delayed due to the government shutdown, so we'll have to uh, watch that at 8.30. Then we have our normal jobless claims. We have the Philly Fed that comes out all also at 8.30. So three major market removing reports before the market opens that we'll want to pay attention to. Um, we have PMI flash. Don't expect that to do anything to the market, but watch these existing home sales at 10 o'clock. Um, those can definitely move the market around. And then uh, probably the most important after that is going to be this EIA petroleum status report. You know, if we sh happen to show surprise builds or, or surprise declines in our uh, petroleum storage um, that moves those oil stocks around and, and they've been on a nice move higher and showing good strength here lately so um, hopefully that will support uh, the strength of those moves and then later on you can see we just have tons of uh, bond um, and bill auction things going on uh, this afternoon and then we have the fed balance sheet at 4 30 which wouldn't be expected to move the market so keep an eye right here in the morning we have a big calendar on um, that economic calendar that we need to pay attention to. Also on the earnings calendar, over 225 companies reporting earnings today. So a real strong group of earnings um, rolling out that we'll want to pay attention to this morning because uh, they will certainly affect um, the market and, and move around. So sentiment of the market is very, very strong. The bulls have been very, very strong. Once again, there's just nothing in here that suggests bearishness. And, uh, but I, I do believe there's um, substant, substantial reason for caution and to be a little bit careful. Think about profits. Um, um, don't let the market um, uh, pull all of this away from you in, in, in a swift move down if that were to occur right around these resistance areas. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click those subscribe buttons on YouTube. Follow me buttons on Facebook. Also, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Guys, um, I... I obviously put a lot of time and attention into these videos and um, my consistency I do them do them every market day my, my purpose here is is not to make money from these videos my purpose is to help other traders do a better job with their trading and if you find them useful for you please feel free and please do me a favor share them with other traders and friends and family that you might have that are in the trading business so that we can continue to um, uh, um, share this information with folks. I believe preparation is far more important than luck. And uh, the more we prepare, the better we are ready to approach the market for the day. So thank you for all of you who do take the time 
to um, leave those brief comments and it doesn't have to be a big comment you can leave those brief comments thank you so much for you guys you guys are the best i appreciate you a ton so with that let's take a look at some charts that are uh, potentially setting up things that might be um, something that you're interested in putting on a list looking pretty good um, and and things that we want to keep an eye on so first off um, i'm going to mention wdc today wdc um, really nice looking chart coming up out of this bottom we broke this downtrend rallying up now i do think there is a chance see this resistance zone right in here we have this level we could wind around in here for a while on this side just as we did over here as we work to complete this pattern this pattern is a bit of a inverted head and shoulders type pattern so we want to watch this level right in here for that potential those bulls pushing through and popping up out of there wdc is one for the list and one that i am paying attention to um, on that list um, facebook facebook interesting pattern here in facebook after its gap up on earnings pulling back nice controlled pull back in here and as you can see trying to catch a little price support right in this area so far those buyers really haven't convinced me that they're ready to jump in just yet and take this back up but I have placed an alert as you can see right here on my chart if I happen to catch that quick uh, quick buy up in here I might be interested in that trade but right now Facebook holding on to its trend looking good definitely one to keep an eye on in the list and looking pretty good um, and another chart um, that um, I really like is uh, some of these oil stocks um, like uh, Valero Energy, Valero Energy holding on to this little trend. Um, oil has been strong lately. We, we did have this pullback in Valero, but it's moving back higher. And I want to keep an eye on that. Stocks like MRO also very nice. Um, oil and gas holding up in this trend moved up nicely. Nice little tight consolidation going on. Nice little trend forming in this chart looking pretty good. So you might want to keep an eye on some of those oil and gas stocks. There's a bunch of them out there showing good signs you know PSX would be another there's just a, a lot of them looking very very um, good um, a stock like Momo MOMO -O, um, looking really really good moving up in its trend had a nice pop nice pop here on Tuesday got a little bit of pullback on Wednesday any rest or consolidation in here that moves this over toward the trend could easily set up more upside in that chart so keep an eye on Momo I also really like Apple Apple in this really nice tight consolidation it's trying to decide are the bulls gonna take control or are the bears gonna take control and watching this pretty closely now I've got a trend marked on here but I want you understand that trend we don't know exactly where that trend is we need that bullish signal in here to define this uh, new area of trend so kind of keep in mind that even though I have that line there it's not necessarily indicating the trend um, uh, and this might be one to watch um, and keep an eye on um, um, AKS a steel company looking nice here very nice trend moving up looking good that's another really nice chart to pay attention to so there's a lot Lots of good charts out there to be watching and even though I'm echoing caution there's lots of good charts and so just be careful not to over trade um, and chase too many of these trades so everyone have an awesome day thank you for uh, all your support and everything the very nice comments on the channel I thank you guys so much take care of yourselves have an awesome awesome day and we'll talk to you all very soon bright and early Friday morning I wish you all the very best Oh, 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 oh,